going to do a short lesson on Pennsylvania Dutch numbers today. We'll see how that goes. I might do more uh, videos later on if people like this. But I'm going to explain how to count from 1 to 100 in Pennsylvania Dutch. And I have a cigar here. I'm just relaxing. So, first of all, one of the things I wanted to say today is if you wanted to tell your husband or wife that you love her, you would say, Ich liebe The Pennsylvania Dutch word for love is lieb. So, when he comes home or she comes home from work, uh, whichever one it is, and you go <clears throat> to greet them, and you say, Ich lieb dich, and you say it with a smile on your face and a little bit of a shine in your eyes. And then you don't tell them to mow the yard right away or ask them when dinner's going to be ready. You sit down and talk to them for a little bit. You know, you got 20 minutes. And you can mow the yard and wash the dishes and make dinner later on. You got a little bit of time for each other. Your marriage is very important and needs to be taken care of. That needs to be your highest priority. But anyway, to, uh, to speak the Pennsylvania Dutch numbers, uh, one of the things I have to mention is the number six in Dutch is pronounced sex exactly the same way the English word sex is pronounced. I looked it up in my Pennsylvania Dutch dictionary this morning and it's spelled S-E-X exactly the same as the English word sex. Uh, so if you're speaking Pennsylvania Dutch in public somewhere and you say the number six in Dutch you might <clears throat> get some looks but anyway it's kind of funny and uh, I was kind of questioning if there was a difference why some people call it Pennsylvania German and some people call it Pennsylvania Dutch it's exactly the same thing Pennsylvania German is just the more academic way of calling the Amish language by a name. If you were a professor in college or something and speaking of the Dutch language, you would call it Pennsylvania German. Most people call it Pennsylvania Dutch. It's exactly the same thing. There's no difference between the two. So if you find a dictionary called Pennsylvania German, it's exactly the same thing as Pennsylvania Dutch. Uh, I noticed on Amazon this morning, there are a lot of different Pennsylvania Dutch dictionaries. And if you're into uh, and like the Amish, it would be worth, you know, gathering a little bit of a collection. Although the one I bought does not have the pronunciations in there the way the English dictionary does. Uh, it would be very helpful, I think, to a lot of people if you had that. But that's one of the reasons I'm making this video and maybe more on the Pennsylvania Dutch language is to give people uh, an enunciation for the Pennsylvania Dutch words. So the numbers from 1 to 10 in Pennsylvania Dutch uh, 1 through 10. I'm going to start at 1 and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is 10 and 1 is 1. Now, uh, those are simple single uh, numbers. To count from 11 to 20, I'm going to do that now. 11, 12, 
Now we're at 20. After 20, it changes considerably because you would use the singular number first and then the tens number. So to say uh, the number 25 in Pennsylvania Dutch, you would say fiend and zwanzi which literally chirped, interpreted in English would be 5 and 20. And you do that after 20 all the way up to 100. Uh, I think I might do the, the numbers, explain how the numbers work from 100 to 1,000 in a different video. I'm just going up to 100 now. But to do, uh, you know, 27 would be Siva and Zwanzi. And I'm going to give you the tens numbers uh, shortly here. So to do, uh, the to say the number 49 would be Nan and Fatsi. Uh, I'll give you the tens numbers now. And... Uh, then you would add the numbers I gave you <clears throat> from 1 to 10 to say the number 36 or 37 or whatever, 52. You would say the singular number first and then the tens number. So the tens numbers are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and an hunol. <clears throat> a hunol is 100. I started with 20 and went through 10 is seya, but I gave you the numbers between 10 and 20. The teens are a separate number. And, uh, but after you get to 20, you would say, the singular number first and then the tens number. So uh, I hope you have a good day today. Uh, I hope you learned something from this lesson. Uh, let me know. I'm going to try to post it on the group Amish All the Way. See if I can do that. I'm planning on uploading it to YouTube right now. And uh, have a good day and see you later. Bye.